All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Elite Brick Force video. And I know right off the bat guys, I'm just as sad as you are that the ATET -E is not releasing on August 1st. Breaking news, I know, but uh, we actually did crack the code to find out when it is releasing. Lego put a little bit of uh, breadcrumb hints here and there, and we uh, followed them all and we figured it out. And guess what guys? The ATTE is a lot closer than you may think. All right guys, so we're gonna get on to the first clue that Lego left us. What's the one thing that all dates have in common? There's the month, there's the day, and there's the year. That's three numbers, guys. And then as I was reading through the product description that Lego has on their website of the ATTE, I was just reading through and they have the dimensions. And you know what else? That's also three numbers. There's the length, the width, and the height, and guys. This is, as you can see, it says here, 7.5 inches by 17 inches by nine and a half inches. But that's not really a date, you say. And I agree, it's not, so let's do some number crunching here. So if you multiply those numbers all together, you get 1,211.25. And that's also not a date. That's weird, that's just a random number. But then it dawned on me, guys. A-T-T-E, that's four letters. So if you multiply that by four, you get 4,845. All right, so this brings me to my next point, guys. Everybody knows on the box art here, everybody thought this was a mistake because it shows the Clone Wars box art. But clearly, if you look in the description of the set, it says it's a Revenge of the Sith set. Now that's kind of odd, right? Clone Wars box art on a Revenge of the Sith set. That just doesn't make any sense. So everybody thought it was a mistake, but what if it was actually another clue left by Lego for us to figure out? Remember guys that the Clone Wars did start in 2008. However, Revenge of the Sith predated that by about three years releasing in 2005. So, bring me to my next point here. If you take our previous number, 4,845, and divide that by the three year difference, you get 1,615. Moving on to my next point, guys. Now, what is another number that all LEGO sets have that is unique to every single LEGO set? The set number, obviously, how did we miss that? That's like the most obvious clue that LEGO would leave us. So, this set number is 75337. And if you take that and subtract it from our previous number of 1,615, you get 73,822. Now, that doesn't seem very significant to me at least, but if you do notice, it has five numbers, which if you divide them up properly, then it switches into three different numbers in the format of a date. So here we get 738.22, July 38th, 2022. Now that doesn't make sense either. That's not a date. July doesn't have 38 days. However, if you carry over the remainder days, then it goes into August, August 6th, 2022, which is actually only five days after the official release date when, when it was supposed to release. So guys, it is confirmed. It is coming out on August 6th, which is, as I said, only five days after the release date when it was supposed to release. So come on, guys, we got worked up over nothing. I mean, take it easy, guys. Okay, guys, so I think this is Honestly, the only reasonable explanation of why LEGO decided to postpone the ATTE release date. This brings us to the end of our video, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys are excited as I am for the ATT to finally be released again on August 6th, 2022. So not just, just around the corner, guys. Please feel free to donate one subscription in the subscription box down below. Remember to keep subscribing. It'll help me sleep tight at night. And uh, yeah, thanks again for watching. Thank you so much. And yeah, sleep tight, Bricksters.